Good morning, Tuesday morning here. We're in booth 1911 with uh, Freddy Chavez, who's the business development uh, manager with uh, Aethercom. And uh, Freddy, you're going to tell us what you're showing here at IMS this week? I sure hope so, uh, <laughs> David. It's nice meeting you. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Um, as David, as you mentioned, we are showing various products this morning and uh, throughout the week here at, e at MTT. And uh, we're proud to introduce several different product flavors that uh, Aethercom offers to uh, the RF industry. The bigger ones are broadband applications. Okay, sounds good. And this looks like a power amplifier? That is, is that correct. correct? Okay. That is correct. Uh, currently, the market's pushing really hard with gallium nitride, okay. other known as or referred to as, Gally, as GAN devices That's and right, GAN yeah. technology. Um, Aethercom offers, again, a wide variety of products that uh, work from 20 up to 6 gig in those uh, in frequency bands. In the GAN bits. technology? That's see. correct. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. So what's the, the application for, for this unit here? Uh, good question. Many of these these applications up to six gig are, are for military type uh, jamming platforms that are currently uh, taking place in our in our world outside theater right now. And, and some of your customers would be most concerned with uh, from a power amplifier. What what type of performance? Uh, again, another good question. Big the uh, big performance is efficiency, uh, okay. power, and size. Okay. As uh, as as different things take place out in the market world today, I should say. Um, People are needing more power, better efficiency, smaller packaging. Okay, so what would be the output power of, of say, that unit? It varies. Um, right okay. now, you're looking at anywhere from 20 watts up to 100, 100 plus watts of okay. RF energy. Okay. okay, and with what kind of efficiency numbers? Uh, we're looking right now, with the beauty about gallium nitride is it has allowed us uh, in the RF market to really push up the efficiencies, and we're seeing upward from 45 to 60 percent efficient oh, on some good. of these that different is, modules. That is good. And, and like, what kind of DC does that operate off of? Um, DC power is rare, uh, depending on the application, okay. but um, we can go anywhere from 18 up to uh, 48 volts. Okay. Okay, and, and now what's this unit? Right here? Uh, this is another different type of uh, amplifier that's used for broadband application. The difference between the two guys here is mainly the, the DC to DC conversion. This one actually operates from 18 to 36 volts. It's for a Humvee application. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yep. And this one here goes off of a, a fixed input power. Okay, and are there special reliability issues with both being a mill uh, application? Um, yeah, yes, there is. There, there is. It needs to be built rugged. Okay. Um, okay. These goes, you know, there's troops in the field who are actually yeah. uh, working on this hardware. So therefore, there's there's a lot of variations that we need to, or, and things we need to take into consideration okay. when designing these amplifiers. Okay. So you're expecting to see a number of people from the uh, military. Uh, that's uh, our target. World. That's our target okay. market. Well, uh, I hope they come by for you. Appreciate that. Okay. Have a All great right. show. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Freddie. Right. Thank you.